Welcome back to BoatTest.com. I'm back in Sanibel, Florida at Formula's annual event. This year we're taking a fresh look at the 45 yacht. Now last year it had inboards. This year it's got a new hull underneath her because we got the IPS drives from Volvo. So come on board, let's take a fresh look at the 45 yacht from Formula. This year, Formula set out to take full advantage of the IPS system. Now there's more room in the mechanical space, better maneuverability, less overall height, and believe it or not, you can save money with IPS. Molded in steps in the dash front and sturdy rails lead you up to the windshield with heavy duty walkthrough and five position upper window. In the bow is concealed anchor locker with anchor davit, Lumar windlass with chain counter and washdown connection. The expansive bow allows plenty of room to enjoy the sun underway. At anchor, you can relax in bow loungers with multi position backrest. Stepping back into the cockpit, you have an electric coupe sunroof in the extended hardtop for fresh air in the day and a view of the stars at night. Defrosters extend the season into cooler times and keep the windshield clear. The split helm bench has ultra leather upholstery and separate bolsters with the center box to store the electronics covers. The Dino tilt wheel is elegant mahogany with hydraulic assisted steering. The Volvo IPS joystick and electronic throttle and shifter in the right panel. Burlwood finish instrument panels add a splash of elegance to the helm. The instruments are arranged for easy view and operation. An MP3 jack is next to the Kenwood Commander remote. The family can enjoy the ride with you on the extended lounger to port. This has this wonderful cool air that we're getting in the cockpit that's great on a uh, hot summer afternoon in Florida and we all really appreciate it. We've got a wet bar here and a cooking station that just is perfect for a gourmet cook. Let's take a good look. Below the Gagano electric grill is an optional Uline Ice Maker cockpit refrigerator. The aft cockpit is a step down from the helm station level and has a large U-shaped lounge with removable table. The day hatch should check on the engines is in the floor of the aft cockpit. The electric engine hatch switch is tucked under the corner cushion. Below the aft bench is a huge storage locker. The starboard side walkthrough has magnetic catch and safety switch to prevent the engine hatch from raising when it's closed. The large dinage box across the stern has plenty of room for fenders, lines, and has dedicated storage for the cockpit table and filler cushions. The engine hatch rises from the stern, and the power of the IPS system and a space-saving ability is apparent inside. This whole platform here is designed to carry a personal watercraft, so when you're ready to launch a personal watercraft, you can use a remote control. In this case, we've got a corded one, and it'll drop this down into the water, so you're not having to lift anything off or pull anything back up when you're ready to use your personal watercraft. It's getting pretty hot topside. We've had a chance to look at the features up here, so let's go down where it's a little cooler and check out the features in the cabin. Join me. Stepping into the salon, you have seven feet of headroom. The lounger is ultra leather with cherry cabinetry with matching table and twin stools. For entertainment, there's a standard 37-inch widescreen LCD TV with dual-zone Bose Lifestyle System for a rich, robust sound and brilliant video. The Gourmet Galley has the same beautiful cherry cabinetry with storage above the Corian countertops. In the forward countertop is a large prep area with concealed two burner cooktop and trash bin. Below is a large tap and convection microwave oven with a large pot drawer below that. After the counters is an upper storage cabinet above the Novacool refrigerator and separate freezer. Dry storage or room to store all the equipment manuals is in the sole locker next to an elegant wine glass rack in the end of the galley counter. The guest stateroom has twin beds that can quickly convert into a single queen bed. Storage includes a nightstand, understep storage, and drawers under the end of the bed and under the mattress. This stateroom has separate vanity with sink, fully enclosed head with shower, and a vacuum flush head. For entertainment, the guest stateroom has its own 15-inch LCD TV. In the hanging closet, you have the DVD player, storage, and a charging rack for the optional wireless cockpit TV. We've really got a nice master suite here, and I like the fact they used a pocket door so it really doesn't intrude into the room. Come on in, let's take a look. The large center line bed has four maple drawers with cherry fronts as well as storage under the mattress. This port hanging locker has an automatic light and is outfitted with an onboard safe and has a matching starboard locker. The Bose sound system is also in the stateroom as well, has a standard 15 inch LCD TV with DVD. The separate enclosed shower has an adjustable height shower head and Corian flooring. The owner's private head has a high gloss cherry finish with Corian countertop, vanity sink, and flush and forget toilet. This year's 45 yacht measures 48 feet 2 inches length overall with the bow platform and 13 feet 11 inches across the beam. She weighs 31,800 pounds with her IPS system and carries up to 350 gallons of fuel. 
the Volvo Penta IPS system takes most of the work and fear out of docking, simplifying the effort required to safely approach your slip. One of the trickiest maneuvers is when you're approaching a dock trying to fit in between boats at either end. This system helps you literally walk the boat sideways with little effort. The IPS system is quiet and inherently very low in harmonics and vibrations. Handling both in close quarters and at speed is really something to experience. The 45 handle much more like a performance cruiser cutting nice turns under complete control and slicing through heavy chop with ease. Maneuvering around the docks was a dream and competing with treacherous ripping currents around Sanibel was simple. I found her top speed to be 37.9 miles per hour at 3650 RPM and she ran 31.9 miles per hour at 3250 RPM for a range of 320 miles on a full tank. Well as you can see the 45 yacht from Formula has got all the things that you need on board to do a lot of entertaining with family and friends, all the comforts of home and all the performance of a sports car. So be sure and take a look at the 45 yacht from Formula.